Hey you guys, it's Teresa. Thanks for joining me again on my channel for another video. Today's video is going to be another budgeting video and I wanted to talk about something because when I posted my last budget video last week, I told you guys that I'd taken our grocery bill from $85 for two weeks down to $50 for two weeks and um, someone asked like really you're really only paying $25 every week for groceries and I said yeah really I am and when I started to think about it that is a really good question because that kind of sounds crazy even to me that sounds a little crazy and for some families that's gonna be incredibly impossible it's only me and Steven and like I told you guys, we find that we don't eat an incredible amount of food, but we do eat a lot of snacks and things like that. And I do cook every day. I cook lunch and I cook dinner every single day. So today I want to show you guys some of the ways that I'm able to make our food stretch. And something that I want to say is that I often find you're either going to save time or you're going to save money depending on which one you have the most of. Right now, I have more time than I have money that I want to throw away. So I take time to do a lot of food prep. I take time to make a lot of things myself as opposed to buying it pre-made and, you know, paying for the service. Because you can get a lot of things done at your grocery store. Like you can have your chicken deboned and skinned for you, but you're going to pay for that service. And instead of paying someone to do that for me, I just do it myself. And I do a lot of things myself. And that's how I'm able to get our grocery budget down to $25 a week. You may not believe it, but we used to spend a lot of money for groceries. We used to spend a lot of money for a lot of different things. We have not always lived on a budget. And because of that type of lifestyle is why we live on a budget. Um, I felt like we were throwing away so much money and we could save so much more money if I just stopped being frivolous with money and stopped picking up everything that I saw and started to do some things to save us a little bit of money. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you guys some of the ways that I've cut corners with our groceries, some of the things I do to go ahead and make that food stretch. And I just want you guys to know that these are the things that I do. And this is not me telling you to do these things. This is just me showing you guys how I'm able to fit our food budget into just $25 a week. Also, I was not able to film my food prep for you guys for this week, but next week I will try to film my food prep. For some reason, I just didn't even think about filming it. And then when um, someone asked me how I'm able to do $25 a week for food, I thought to myself, oh, duh, I should have showed them um, how I prep our food in this very, very small budget for groceries. All right, right now I'm going to go into the kitchen and I'm going to show you guys the ways that I have stretched our food that it will last us for the next two weeks. Okay, guys, we're in the kitchen now. Excuse the look of these packages because I did just take most of them out of the freezer, but I guess I'll just start over here. This is the corn that I showed you guys in my grocery haul. As you can see, it was three ears of corn. What I did was I cut all of the ears into three separate sections and then I boiled them for maybe about five to seven minutes, not until they were cooked completely. Then I let them cool and once they cooled, I put them into this freezer bag. So now I have nine ears of corn instead of the three big ears of corn and I can separate these into um, maybe four or five meals. This is actually chicken and what I did with, with the big thing of chicken is I separated the leg quarters which means I just split the legs and the thighs apart from each other. And what I did here is I cut up the thigh meat into pretty big sections and then I breaded it. So this is going to be like chicken nuggets. So I breaded it, I put them in individual freezer bags, and then I put those individual freezer bags into a big freezer bag, and I let them um, come to a freeze. Uh, they're frozen flat like this. I sit them in the freezer flat so that they don't stick together. And for lunch, I'm just gonna grab out an individual freezer bag and cook it with some fries. So these are chicken nuggets that I made from the thigh meat of the chicken. 
I not only separated the thighs from the legs though, I also boned the thighs and I skinned the thighs and then I cut everything up and breaded it. These are bananas. This is one of the bananas. This is what I have left because I've already eaten the other banana, but this is what I like to do with the bananas. I slice them and then I put them in this freezer bag and I lay them flat in the freezer so that they can freeze. With these bananas, I like to make smoothies and sometimes I even put them in my cereal. I know that's kind of weird, but I like kind of cold bananas in my cereal. And so this is what I do with the bananas. I don't buy a lot of bananas because I'm the only person in my house that eats them. Steven doesn't really eat bananas all that much. This is one loaf of the um, loaves of bread that I showed you guys. Actually, it's two loaves, but one package. What I did was I made some herb butter with some garlic and butter and herbs, and I put it on this bread. I baked it for a little bit, and then I let it come to a complete cool. And once it's cool, I just put it into the Ziploc bag and I freeze it. Now, when I'm ready to use this bread, I'll just either take it out and let it come to room temperature, and I'll maybe eat it on a sandwich or something like that, or I can just put this right into the oven and let it get soft and then serve it with dinner. So here I'll get maybe six or seven meals out of these two loaves of bread, whereas with a box of Texas toast, I usually can only get about two meals out of that box. So here's this bag of spinach that I showed you guys, and the reason that I do this I take the spinach out of the bag that it comes in and then I put it into a freezer bag and I also put some paper towels into the freezer bag with the spinach. This keeps spinach for so much longer than just leaving it in the bag or even just putting it in the Ziploc bag by itself. I don't know what it is exactly, but I do believe that the paper towel absorbs some of the moisture and it keeps the spinach from going too wilty too quickly. And so this is how I like to keep spinach. This is going to last us until I buy grocery again. If you guys don't know about this trick, I suggest that you try this one especially because it really works. Now here is the chicken, the rest of the chicken. Like I mentioned to you guys, I did split up the leg quarters and I separated the thighs from the legs. And the thighs that I deboned and I skinned, I did for the chicken nuggets and then the rest of them are over here. Now here are the, the bones that I used and I'm gonna take these and boil them up and make a um, broth out of these and I'll cook rice and pasta and things with the broth that I make from these bones. Here are the small pieces of the leg quarters. Now the leg quarters that I buy, they are not you know, processed and fed or hormone leg quarters. So there are some pretty small ones in there. And what I did was I took all the small legs and a few of the small thighs and I put them in their own container and I'm gonna use these for hot wings. So I just have these separated and this will also be used for lunch. So now in this one, these are thighs and these are just regular thighs that I separated from the legs and these will be used for chicken and um, rice or chicken and dumplings. I'm not really sure which one I'm gonna use yet but these will go down in the crock pot and I'll make a hearty meal with these. Here is some more legs, just all legs, and I separated these. All three of these are just legs, actually, and I separated these into three separate meals. I think there are six legs in each bag and these will just be three different meals. Whichever way I wanna cook these legs, that's how I'll cook it. So. Obviously, we're going to be having a good bit of chicken, <laughs> and um, that's okay because I can do a lot with chicken. Now, the sausage that I bought, I went ahead and separated the sausage into two, and with these two pieces, I will get two separate meals. One of these will be for spaghetti. The other will be for some stuffed peppers, and so now I'm getting two meals out of that one package of sausage. All right, so this is everything that I stretched from my last grocery haul. This is basically how I get our groceries down to be $25 a week. Now this does take time. I would say that food prep for me takes at least an hour, maybe two hours. It took me a good bit of time this go around because I actually cleaned and deboned about 10 pounds of meat. In total, I went through 20 pounds of chicken this time. 
because as you guys can remember, I had two 10 pound bags of lead quarters and I went through both 10 pound bags to get all of the chicken ready for cooking. Now I do find if I go through all of the chicken and all of my meat and everything like that, when it comes time for me to cook, I can just grab things and go on with my life. Like if I know I'm cooking chicken tomorrow, I can literally just grab this bag of chicken, put it down in the refrigerator the night before, and then the next morning I don't have to season the chicken much anymore. I don't have to clean it because it's already cleaned and I can throw it into the crock pot and it'll just cook by itself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I will be back with more budgeting videos and you're not going to want to miss that. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.